So in this video, come along with me as we explore the weird wild west. So I just got a text that some of the people that I am meeting at weird wild west are already there. And rather than pulling over at a rest stop or a truck stop for the night, since I've only about five hours to go, I think I'm gonna just push through and make it there. drove for nearly two hours in total darkness on I-80 to make it to where I was meeting my friends. In that time, I didn't encounter a single other vehicle on the road. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little otherworldly. I wouldn't have done that if I didn't have their GPS coordinates. But then... got in last night at about, oh, maybe 11, 10.30 or 11, and thankfully some people were up at Bunny and Riley and some new friends, so it was very fun to see them. I haven't seen them in a while. I'm up early, gonna have my coffee on the roof and just check out the place a little bit. We're in the main Catholic parking lot for Weird Wild West event and there are several around the town so we are going to be going on a walk through town and visit some of the shops and there's good restaurants and maybe see some of the other parking lots and where people are with their rigs and then I think later on tonight there are some events at the Jonquil Motel uh, live music and just meeting and greeting people as well. So that is what we will do today. Okay. Action. Guys, <laughs> 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 I found a bunny. We're actually on a bunny hunt right now, and the more bunnies we can find, the better. So that is number one. We're looking for the bunnies. We're on a bunny hunt. Appreciate your time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm filming you filming Riley. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
today. The town has what they call Alice in Bisbee Land, where the whole town dresses up as their favorite Alice in Wonderland character. They play the movie at night and have live music and I think maybe even a costume show. And so that will be going on today. Then we are going to just walk around town and see some of the shops and maybe go to a couple of restaurants to try out everything. The town also has what they call a thousand stair climb. It's an annual event. It's not going on now, but you can still go on the trail. It is 4.5 miles, I think, and nine staircases along with plateaus that you are either walking through town or walking in the, the hills nearby. So it is a very rigorous climb, I'm told. We've only been on a few of the staircases just to look at the artwork and the backyards that are all decked out. But Darlene from our group has gotten up really early two days to be able to do that climb, which takes a couple hours. So you go girl, good job. We've just done a few of the staircases and they're pretty steep, so that's it's quite a climb. I guess the town in 1975, when the copper mines closed down, decided maybe to go with tourism as their means of attracting people. And it is the most welcoming town for tourists. I'm so glad for this event because I don't know that I would ever gotten to Bisbee and it's a really beautiful town. Yeah, I'm excited to see what we do today. Oh, you like my room? Wrigley, you're so cute. Random thing. Oh, what's this? Oh, 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 So tonight, I'm not sure. I think we're either getting ready to head out to a restaurant for dinner or we might hang around here. We all have some extra food that we need to get rid of. So we might just set up camp out here and enjoy each other's company. And a lot of people are leaving tomorrow. So it's the last night for some people. So yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. Three, two. So I hope you enjoyed exploring a little of the weird wild west with me. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. When you find that you're in Just let ourselves get lost in between